Hello everyone, I'm Eamon McGowan. This is Dishes Around the World, episode three. Uh, today we are making lasagna. Um, the actual origin of the word lasagna dates back to ancient Greece, where it was used as the word laganot, I think, laganot, um, which was the very first form of pasta. And the Italians used the word to refer not to the ingredients, but the actual pot where the dish was served. I think that's pretty interesting. So, let's go over our ingredients. We have some pre-cooked um, pasta, lasagna pasta, and uh, a couple uh, tricks when you're cooking your pasta. You want to add salt and oil to your pot of water, and I think you want to think you want to cook it for boil it for maybe uh, five minutes. You can do half of the batch each time. And then another tip is that you want to add your pasta individually so they don't stick together. Because if they do, that'll be really bad and your lasagna will be a mess. And then the third tip, um, when you're adding your lasagna to your sheet pan, you're going to add a layer of um, baking sheet. And you want to grease your baking sheet with olive oil before you add the pasta. Now that we got out of the, that out of the way, let's look at the ingredients. We have some ground basil, a whole chunk of buffalo mozzarella, which is made of buffalo milk. And we're using it because it has a more enhanced sweet flavor than normal mozzarella. It's great on lasagna. We've got some um, pre-ground Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, some basil leaves, and uh, we're gonna not cut these up. We're gonna rip them up because the crucial difference between preparing parsley and basil is that with parsley, you can cut it as fine as you want, but with basil, you cannot cut it. You have to rip it because if you do cut it, it uh, basically bruises these little spines, which is where all of the flavor is. So if you're cutting it, you're basically bruising the uh, basil leaves and it'll get rid of all the flavor pretty much and it just won't be as good. We've got some shredded mozzarella, some ricotta cheese, which we have mixed with oregano, um, garlic granules, and onion granules, as well as one whole egg. You just wanna mix that up. It really just enhances the flavor profile of it. We've got um, about a jar of roasted garlic, maronata uh, sauce, um, yeah, in a bowl. And if you want to like, you know, make your own recipe, get out, get out grandma's old recipe book, that's fine. You can make your own if you want, but we're in a little bit of a hurry, so we just bought, uh, store-bought marinara sauce. And then we have the um, pan, which we're going to layer our lasagna in. So, now that we've gone over all the ingredients, let me tell you what you're gonna do next. So, for laying, layering your lasagna, you're gonna wanna take about uh, three sheets, I mean, it depends on how big your pan is, but for us, we're gonna take three sheets of pasta, lay it down, cover it in sauce, and once it's all mixed like evenly, layered around the pasta, you're going to want to add a little bit of each of your cheese, and then some of your, you're going to want to cut your buffalo mozzarella up into chunks, and then layer that, and then some basil on top, and then when you're done with that, you're going to um, put some pasta on it, put sauce, cheese, repeat, and then once you get to the very top of your pan, and you've, add, you've added the last, um, layer of pasta, you're going to want to add sauce, and then just a little bit of Parmesan, Parmigiano, and a little bit of shredded mozzarella cheese, top with some ground basil, and then bake it. So yeah, let's uh, get to layering. So we're about to put it into the oven and you're going to want to bake this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes. And you're going to want to do this on a baking sheet because it does bubble over. And if you want, you can also put foil on top of it too. 
But yeah, we're about to start baking it and we'll get back to you when it's ready. All right, so we've got our baked lasagna here and um, we're gonna take a couple photos and uh, do one in the last outro so you guys can enjoy. Uh, yeah. All right, so we've got our baked lasagna here and uh, yeah, it looks really good. I'm sure Garfield's gonna love this. We're gonna uh, take a couple photos just so you can really see how superb this lasagna is. And yeah, let's take some photos. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.